You be the judge. Is there beer profiling going on at the Rogers Center? Here's the deal. Blue Jay officials are saying that customers in the 500 level will only be able to purchase one beer at a time. The rest of the levels, it seems, you can go up and get two at a time. Not so in the 500 anymore. Hmm. That seems like ticket discrimination to me. Right, exactly. Well, absolutely. But and they think this will this will turn the tide of disturbances, limiting people to one beer <laughs> as opposed to being able to take two, two beers. Two beers, I guess so. Make them walk more, I guess. They'll well, have you gotta to go walk. Back and line up. But the problem is they've had so many problems up in that level, especially when they have their super cheap uh, seat nights. Yeah. I mean, they had to throw you know more than 100 people. And they've, they've lost the ability to sell beer at all a couple of times, at least once recently. They you were, know, you know, saying, well, that's it. You're going to pull your license for the day. they got to do something. What does it? Listen to you, the bastion of conservatism. How come they had to pull the license because were they selling to minors or was just getting too rowdy? I, I the don't remember. Yeah, right? I think it was it the rowdiness. Gets, it so gets, many people get, yeah, I mean. But this happens in every stadium in the world. Well, I told Absolutely. you that about when I was at Wrigley. The fun percolates up. <laughs> yeah, sitting in those upper levels at Wrigley Field. Jesus, that's the, the you could I, run I into think some you trouble up there. Yes. <laughs> I think you can go about it by if you're if you're serving alcohol and you know someone is rowdy, you can just say, okay, you're, I'm done serving you. But I, I don't think you have to limit it necessarily to one beer. In the first inning, if you're having one beer and you want to just sit down and enjoy the game and not have to replenish. Plus, who can stay awake at a baseball game without a beer? Oh, come <laughs> on. Alan. I, well, I, 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 find, I mean, listen, I love baseball, and I, I'm, I'm really uh, excited well, about the Jays. you don't love baseball. But, but there are moments when, you know, something will be going on in the game, and, and next you hear a crack of the bat, and you're like, yeah! Oh, wait, the, sorry, the right, inning exactly. changed. They've I'm cheering for the over. wrong team now. It but, can be a little drowsy. It's, yeah. I go for the nachos, personally. You go for the nachos personally. Yeah. With the uh, oil product cheese on it, <laughs> yes, that thing? exactly. Wow. <laughs> the Petroleum has a settling <laughs> effect. <laughs> exactly. But that's part of the whole ballpark experience. It's yeah. the hot dogs, it's the nachos, it is. the peanuts. Yeah. It's the it's pace all part of the of game. The it's, it's the minutia of the game. This is what this is what makes an ex it an extraordinary game. Stats. But I I've never sat. Uh, Real, really high up at a ball game, so I, I wouldn't know how distracting. Oh. I mean, it's way more distracting than just like fancy. Wow. No, you're I'm high just are you, Dave? You're, you're yeah. at the 100 level. I have 12 or 13 <laughs> beers underneath the seat. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you know that Alan and I went to the same alma mater? Ryerson. Why is yes. that? That's not surprising. And that we were there, well, kind of, sort of, at the same time, right, Alan? Oh, really? We have a yeah, very, I was, very uh, long I was a, a teaching assistant when Liza. First yeah. came in, so I was, I was actually was there a little finished. You were working in the tape library. There yes, was I was in the tape library. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was there. Nice. Alan, we'd have to yeah. go, and I'd have to. What'd you do in there? What did I do in there? I handed you your headphones and your right, LP right. records. Right, right. Yes. Yeah, you're like AV. Yeah. For our editing I, yeah, assignments. That was me, yeah. And you were like behind. You were kind oh. of like Danny DeVito in Taxi a bit. You were behind exactly. like a great. There, there is a picture. Almost <laughs> as charming. <laughs> yeah. There is a picture. And was there any kind of a. No, no, I, I was. Well, really, I was a brand new young. Well, and Eliza I, you was know. a beautiful young woman, and I was oh, a guy behind no. glass. You know, I should so. bring. Well, he's like. I don't know where her bar was at that time. <laughs> I should bring. Maybe she went for guys higher. behind glass. <laughs> no, I've had pictures of me in first year Ryerson. I have these round glasses, round tortoiseshell glasses, and pants that look like a ski sweater. They're like a ski sweater, but pants. Knitted. Yeah. Knitted pants. Yeah. Nice. With, like, the, with the pattern on it. Woo. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and some bad t-shirt. Yeah, like, well, we can all go back into the mists thinking. of time and look at th things we shouldn't have been wearing. Mm -hmm. But everyone was wearing them. Yeah, so. you, everyone yeah. thought they looked great at the time, it's too, right? Like your high school picture. <laughs> all right. We got to take a break. When we come back, we'll have a look at your headlines and your Monday forecast. We'll be right back. Mm -hmm.